All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. I am back out here in North Las Vegas, and we're going to be touring this property by Pardee. And the name of this community is called Blackstone. And this model that we are going to be looking at today is actually a Plan 3 reverse model. So it is 3,481 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bath, great room, bonus room, right? It does have a lounge tandem three car garage. On this floor plan here, floor plan C, the elevation, starts off at $495,000. Now, the other thing is that you do have a option on this one for the room, for the second master suite in lieu of the bonus room, fifth bedroom with a fourth bathroom in lieu of the lounge and available up to six bedrooms and five and a half bath. Well, that's that's a lot of bedrooms for 3,400 square feet, so that's gonna be pretty tight. So let's go inside, let's take a look exactly what we got here. Take a look at the model. I'm gonna walk you straight in. Now we can see the kitchen, oh, nice kitchen. I'm gonna pan all the way around. And also I'm gonna try to talk as fast as I can and over this music so that way I don't get demonetized. You know, working so hard for these videos, I don't wanna get demonetized. Y'all know what I'm talking about? All right, so now that you have a general idea what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this all the way back to the front here. And let's take a look what we have. I love the, uh, the frosted glass door here. So off to the left, we have our half bath. You do have the uh, gray countertops here. I'm sorry, not the countertops, but the vanity. And you got the Petrofenia and the undermounted sink, the Delta faucet with a four inch backsplash and a round mirror. But I do love the windows inside this bathroom that brings in a lot of light. Now you see the color here, it's kind of blue, right? So that tells you the windows are tinted and there's a dual pane window. Now it looks like they upgraded this door here because you see the rips on the door. Uh, this is an upgrade with this builder so you just have some closet space. Now, the tile, you have 48 by 24 on the tile here. Let me know if you prefer it to go this direction or this direction. Now typically, um, with the designers, it should be going the same direction as far as the grout lines going towards or with the counters okay but let me know in the comments below i'm gonna show this up to you i'm gonna show this here i was gonna say i showed this up to you here what the hell now off to the left we have our lounge well wow, this is really nice so i think this is where you could have made the extra bedroom and also the extra bathroom too as well a lot of cabinet space that would have been an upgrade on this one, you would have to do a pre-wire for um, your refrigerator. So that's something that it would have to be thought out before designing the home. So is these uh, lights here too as well. And also you do have a total of six speakers for your surround sound. Okay. And I love the uh, texture on this one. This is the uh, Santa Fe texture. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let's see if we can see it from here. Nope, it's blocking it. Okay. Straight edge cornering, six inch on the uh, the baseboards here. You do have some extra storage space here. Underneath the uh, the staircase, which is, I think is a great idea. I mean, look at all this extra space that you have here. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I'd make like a little doggy house here. That'd be kind of cool. Think about this. I would have a little doggy door here, rip this a little bit bigger, and built like a full doggy like little house. That'd be kind of cool, right? So you have this uh, floating shelf, which is really nice. You got that gray accent wall. Let's take a look at this. So they did opt out on, or they did the options on the appendant lighting here. And it's really nice. I do like that. Now the cabinets, the cabinets are a upgrade here on these cabinets, but as far as like the level, I don't think these are level, level seven cabinets. These are just regular shakers that are painted. 
Now these ones are stapled, right? On these. Oh, here's your ring. Ring system doorbell. You have your uh, GE appliance. They do have the other option for the cafe, which is their higher grade. So you have a option to do that too as well. Nine foot ceilings with a 42 upper on the, uh, the cabinets here. And they did an option on the lights underneath. Um, let's see if these are full LED lights, which is nice. Now, I did this on my past video. If you take a look from the LED lights to strips, as you can see, it's illuminating from here to here, but it's equally balanced. So that's how you can kind of tell if it is an LED. So on this one, they had the pre-wire one, two, three. So you have more of a custom look. I would have did four, five, six on top of here. Just take it to a whole nother level. The countertops here, they did the uh, the standard Petrofenia. Normally these go in the bathroom, but I think these are nice too as well. Dual basin sink with the uh, Blanca brand. We talked about this, 850 to $1,000 just for the sink alone. I don't know if I would pay this much for a sink. Sinks are very expensive. Even um, the faucets too as well. Faucets, they run about 450 depending on the brand. I don't think this is the uh, the touch one. Nope. And this one, they did the upgrade for the garbage disposal. Okay. You got your slate refrigerator. Uh, it's like that matte gray. But well, this is actually the slate one. You have a matte gray slate, right? And a slate black and a matte black too as well. You got your GE appliances double stack again. Well, actually your oven and your convectional microwave. You got some extra storage space right here. And that would be an upgrade, I believe. This takes you out to your three car garage tandem. Let's take a look here. So all this is just pretty much storage right now. Hot water heater would go there. So I can tell you right now, they're not doing a tankless water heater. It looks like it looks like just a regular water heater because you do have that gas line right there too as well. Okay. So you do have the lift master, not the life master. Got some extra storage. If anybody's down to have a, some wine, let me know. I love to wine all the time. Not the drinking wine, but love to wine. <laughs> I was trying to make a joke, but maybe it wasn't that funny. All right, so let's go down here. Remember, I believe on this one, yeah, what, two options on the... Uh, the master bedroom, one upstairs and also one downstairs too as well. Oh, let's take a look at this. You got a thermostat down here. Well, I love that uh, wallpaper. I can't wait to do my wallpaper. So excited, the one in the office. For some of you guys that have been following me, you guys know what I'm talking about. Now, I haven't showed it to you guys yet because I wanted to get, you know, I want them to install it first. So I'm just finalizing everything, but I'm so excited. This is definitely a king size bed here. And on this one, they did the pre-wires for the lights here, which is, I think it's really gorgeous and it's really elegant for reading lights. You know what I mean? You kind of like want to set the mood. Check on wow, wow. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? However, there's, as big as this room is, there is no lights. You definitely need 4 can lighting, not a pre-wire just for your ceiling fan, right? It doesn't make any sense. This room is too big for that. Now, if the room was 10 by 10, you can get away with a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. Now this is the standard that comes here. You can definitely customize um, to have a walk-in shower, right? Now when you customize a walk-in shower, what's gonna happen is that's a structural upgrade, but then you'll get the standard tile that comes with it. But now if you wanna customize your tile when you hit the design studio, you will have that option too as well. Let's take a look at the um, water closet. Okay, you got your low E flush on the water closet, the Sterling. Now we're coming in here, we got the closet. So this is what your standard closet would look like, minus this mirror door. Uh, this mirror door is 450, I believe. Here's your attic access to the sub floor, okay? We do have some storage here. This would be more for your linen closet, coat closet, whatever you wanna call it. 
And you have your Petrophenia again, double sinks. Sometimes builders will charge you on the double sinks. T typically not in the master, but uh, in the other bedrooms, they'll charge you. Okay. Now, a lot of, um, oh, I love the, the laundry rooms downstairs. Also, the other thing I want you to take a look at is, as far as the smoke alarms, they do come with carbon monoxide too as well out in the hallways, but not inside the bedroom. So here's your smart panel box here. Here's your 36 inch on the smart panel box. I can't open it because it's actually screwed, but I believe on this one, they do have the Smurf tube down to the uh, D mark. And what that is, is a, a tube that goes from here inside your wall that fishes all the way out to the main street. Reason why they do that is because now um, optic fiber is starting to come in to these streets and you want to make sure you have that option. So there should be a string that's tied. Okay, never cut that string because once you do that, you never be able to get that optic fiber into your home. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, I do love that yellow couch though. That is kind of cool. Hmm, kind of feeling that. All right, let's go upstairs. We got ups upgrades on the uh, stair railing here, on the banister. So you come up three steps, four steps, now you're up on a landing. Coming back all the way around. Now here is your game room, but I believe this is an option for a room too as well. Uh, let's take a look at this. How many rooms did we go into already? One, two, I think three, right? Lost count. Let me know in the comments below. Wow, look at that. Love those uh, shelves, but ooh, this one's breaking. That, that tells me somebody was sitting on this. Look at this. That is messed up. Somebody sat on that, and that wasn't me. All right, let's go down this way here. Now, let me know in the comments below. Would you open this up right here? Right? Put the railing all the way across. Like, this would just open this thing up so much more. You do have some carpets upstairs, feels really good. Now keep in mind the carpet, make sure to check if it's synthetic. Um, also when it comes to carpet, what the life expectancy is of the carpet, check the warranty of the carpet too as well. That's going to be important. The The padding doesn't really cost you that much. Padding runs about 250 so you might as well get the, the best pad that you can get. This is a decent sized room here. On this one, you don't have your uh, jumper duct. You just have your, your vent. Now, you do have attic access here, so your AC unit's right there. Wow, look at this tile. Seems like a lot of people are starting to do this type of pattern, do this type of design here. Now, on this one, as you can see, this is a three quarters on this, the size. If you want to do an uh, inch and a half, that's fine. Um, a lot of builders will charge you for that upgrade, especially for the countertops um, for the kitchen. So you need to double check. You got your tub shower combo. I do like this. This brand is the Aquatic. I do love this fiberglass tub shower combo. It's, it's gorgeous. You got your two 20 by 20 air filters here. Okay, you got some storage, linen closet. It's a pretty decent size, okay. And coming into the bathroom, option with the um, countertop all the way across and your second sink. Now this one's a little bit unique. You do have the door here, but I think the reason why they do this is so that way they can close this and this home is really built more for a family okay a big family like that whatever happened to the stopper if you guys never had a chance to uh, check out the merch that we have uh, click on the link in the description below wow look at this um Great design right here to bring contrast with this paint. That's cool. Keep it simple. It's funny what you can just do with paint to make it look good. So we got a queen size bed in here. There's really nothing 
you know, that piques my interest in here. I'm not really excited. Just a standard room. But I do love these uh, corner windows here. Again, on this side too as well. But you may not get these type of windows because some of these windows, you're going to have to upgrade the elevation in order to get those windows. Some of you, you may also have to pay too as well. All right, so we had what? One, two, three rooms, right? And also a loft. So let's go downstairs. So we have what? Three rooms upstairs. The master downstairs, so that's four. Then this would have been five, right? Five. Yeah, I think that would, would have been it. Oh, so that one room would have been extra because, remember, it's a four bedroom. So you got one, two, three, four, but you have the option up to six bedrooms. So that, that would have been cut. So one there, one, two, the loft, three, okay, four, five, six. Then you would get additional, um, what do you call, bedrooms and bathrooms. So now that makes sense. If you guys are interested in this community, the HOAs for the master is 29, which is Tully Springs. Uh, Blackstone Association is uh, 27. And regional park fees, never heard of that. Uh, sounds like a BS fee, but however, the total amount is $80 a month. So why don't they just say your total HOAs are $80 a month, right? They should just compile it all together. If you guys are interested in this property, let me know in the comments below. We definitely love the opportunity to earn your business. But other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck. It's Chris Wall with Simply Vegas. And have a blessed day, guys. Oh, one thing that we didn't do. We got to go outside. Hold up. I was about to end this video. We didn't even go outside. We didn't even see what this thing looks like. Now, also, the other thing is that uh, if you guys are interested, damn, this door is heavy. Now, this is a eight-foot slider, a vinyl slide, total of 12 feet here, covered patio. Oh, take a look at this. Look at this. Cracked all the way through. Okay. Cracked all the way through. Let's see if it went through the control joints. Nope. You see this split right here? This is what we call a controlled joint. So that way if it breaks, it should only break within here. So as you can see, it's breaking from here. That means it's probably shifting or something like that. And it's a pretty wide crack. But it's not a big deal, so they would have to just redo this whole section. But it tells me that there's probably not rebar here. They just did the concrete. Also, this is a certain type of concrete. And as you can see, we have these little thin rocks. It makes it a little bit more easier to break, and it's a little bit more brittle. But when it comes to concrete, there's all different type of concrete. Some concrete is stronger than others. Oh, I love that purple in the back. What do they do? Just paint that thing? What do they do? Oh, it's the glass. Okay. Nice. You got a fireplace. Nice little doggy house. You got synthetic grass back here. Now, you can tell the sun really beats on this side right here. Okay. West side is going to be sitting down on here. So, this backyard just gets beat up. I mean, you can already see how weathered it is. Now, we're going to finish up this video. Oh, if you do use their lender, according to the uh, agent, okay, uh, $8,000 towards closing costs. All right. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck. It's Chris Wall with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.